Now uh, we would like to move to the Q&A session. Uh, so we'll be taking the questions. Uh, and you can raise your hands and share the questions also in text with us. So uh, moving on to the first question that we have. We have a question for Rafe. Uh, coming from a legal background, what do you think about climate justice? And do you see any cases ending up at The Hague? Actually, climate justice is, a, is, is a, 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 you know, the hot topic nowadays. And uh, there have been several cases in Europe um, and also in Pakistan. Uh, where activists have gone to court on climate issues. In Europe, uh, for example, a, uh, I believe a German car manufacturer was told to reduce its emissions by about 50% by 2030. They are now relocating to England to avoid the European Union. Um, so these are very, very hot topic issues. Um, and the thing about climate justice is that it opens up discussions on history, on politics, on society, which are very important. And I want to second uh, Patrick's comment uh, on the caution uh, of science. Uh, science is not neutral. It, it can be used for politics, and it has. And we must have our science aligned with the principles of climate justice. Thank you, Rafi. Question and answers session. Is sawal ke jawab mein ماحولیاتی انصاف کے بارے میں آپ کا کیا خیال ہے رافع صاحب نے کہا کہ ماحولیاتی انصاف آج کل اہم موضوع ہے یورپ میں بھی اور پاکستان میں بھی جہاں ماحولیاتی مسائل کی وجہ سے لوگوں کو عدالتوں کا رخت کرنا پڑتا ہے ماحولیاتی انصاف کی وجہ سے آج ہم تاریخ سیاست اور معاشرے پر بات کر رہے ہیں جو کہ بہت ضروری ہے اور سائنس کو بھی سیاسی طور پر استعمال کیا جا رہا ہے ہمیں سائنس کو ماحولیاتی انصاف کے لیے استعمال کرنا چاہیے and we have another question for you it is uh, if pakistan focus on proper management of waste then it would substantially improve our climate what should we or can we do in this regard particularly in karachi and lahore i think we should certainly you know uh, improve waste management they should improve uh, you know um, air pollution uh, all of those will have uh, impacts i think waste management is an important part because waste management can have benefits i don't think it's going to help the bigger picture as much unless you do a lot of other things but essentially i think you we, we need to sort of start like everyone thinking about environmental policy i say that broadly as our policy in some ways i have very little hope now in what someone else is going to do and what i want to do is environmental policy that is people centered development centered immediate problem centered within the countries themselves okay. let's start with dealing with the heat problem with making a better karachi let's start with uh, the smog problem not by simply saying you know uh, rafe is here he knows much more about this uh, of sort of you know conspiratorial theories about sort of whether it's this part of the border or that part of the border it may be but we can make our cities in, in the Punjab better planned. We can, we can do things in our own emission standard for our own vehicles. We can do that in, in our own policies. So I, my, my point is with waste as with everything else, we need to make environment not a funky side issue, but a central part of development policy. کوڑے کے نظام کو بہتر بنانے کے حوالے سے ایک سوال کے جواب میں عادل نجم صاحب نے کہا کہ ویسٹ مینجمنٹ سے ایک حد تک ماحول پر مثبت اثر یقیناً پڑ سکتا ہے اس لیے یہ بہت ضروری ہے مگر اس کے ساتھ ساتھ اگر کراچی اور لاہور جیسے شہروں کی بات کی جائے تو کراچی میں ہمیں گرمی کی شدت میں کمی کرنے کے انتظامات کرنے چاہیے اور لاہور میں اسموک کے مسئلے کے حل کے لیے گاڑیوں کو اپنی ذمہ داری سمجھتے ہوئے ماحول دوز بنانا چاہیے We have a question for Dr. Patrick. Uh, so the question is, you have lived through the apartheid and worked on the policies for the reconciliation. Uh, we see in the world today that uh, there is, again, when it was the COVID-19, uh, the nations were spending billions and trillions for uh, their own million people. But now it's a question of billions of people being affected by climate change. So how do you think they would be spending their money uh, pouring out to these poor nations, and you mentioned damages and losses, reparations. So how is that going to work out, or is it going to be another uh, climate imperialism, as you mentioned? It is at present, and thank you again, and 
that Dill's answers are wonderful. I have no objections. I would say that um, if we need this loss and damage, it's going to be uh, including the $43 billion from your flooding episode and everything into the future, because that's why we, we have this social cost of carbon to think about not just what has happened now, uh, but also the longer term manifestations as the feedback loops uh, kick in, which means, let's say you do want to claim loss and damage. I do give the Southern negotiators some degree of credit for really pushing it in spite of the likes of the United States uh, State Department um, and, to be frank, South Africa and, um, you know, China and India have huge carbon debts. They're per person not that big, but the emissions, if we're going to use something like a, a $3,000 cost um, of carbon, uh, social cost of carbon, it's, you know, in this country, three times our GDP that we're emitting in terms of the damages every year. Now, let's say that you want to get concrete about it and you're interested in water and sanitation and wastewater, uh, stormwater drainage, or even solid waste. Uh, in each of our cities, we've had amazing debates because we don't have enough money in our municipal budgets, do we, to make our cities climate proof? Or let's say the mitigation from the uh, rotting um, uh, organic waste that creates methane in the landfills. I, kn I know last month you had a big debate in Lahore about this, right, about whether um, we can find some way to put pipes in and, and suck the methane out and turn it into electricity. We've been trying those here as well. But I think the money involved, what you're going to need to demand more and more from the North. They're the ones who cause the problem. And Pakistan's been the eighth worst affected. So you do deserve to be paid. Let's say for stormwater drainage in Karachi, for uh, the better sanitation systems, uh, so that, for example, we can get processing of solid waste through waterborne sanitation. I think we're, we're still going to need that as much as it's romantic to have ecosan. We definitely are going to need in our big cities much more investment in um, uh, sanitation and uh, treatment systems. Because if you've got flooded roads, you know this as well as anyone, um, you're going to have uh, terrible problems of water and sewage intermingling. Um, and so I think these, say, stormwater drainage, uh, proper sanitation systems, uh, you know, water treatment facilities, you start calculating those and start sending the bill to the people in the north when you're in any kind of negotiations, in any sort of discussion, ask your northern NGO or government partners, why are they not doing more to pay, you know, polluter pay is a very simple concept, to pay the ecological debt, the water debt, the climate debt. That's still, to me, why the loss and damage phrasing, but beyond that, many of the other uh, social costs of carbon that the North and BRICS countries as well, the medi medium power countries um, that are very much part of this, they really do owe the people of Pakistan. And here, where I am in Johannesburg, in the global North, right, within the South, this is the, the world's most unequal city, it's the uh, world's most unequal country. We also are trying to come to grips with how to redistribute internally. We have to the place. ये एक मुश्तर का मसला है जो के मुश्तर का तौर पर हल किया जाना चाहिए मिस्टर पैट्रिक से सवाल किया गया कि आलमी वबा के दौरान हमने देखा कि मुमालिक ने मिलियन और बिलियन डॉलर्स अपने मुल्क के लोगों की मदद से लगा दिए तो अब वो कैसे गरीब मुमालिक की मदद करेंगे जिन्हें बिलियन डॉलर्स इमदाद की जरूरत है ताकि वो अपने माहौल को बेहतर बनाएं मिस्टर पैट्रिक ने कहा कि ये मसائل ज्यादातर शुमाली दुनिया के पैदा किए हुए हैं और पाकिस्तान दुनिया का आठवां मुल्क है जो कि मोहल्लियाती आलूदगी से सबसे ज्यादा मुतासिर है इसलिए इन मुमालिक को पाकिस्तान को मुआशी तावन लाजमी देना चाहिए जैसे कि कराची सेवरेज निजाम सफाई का निजाम और आबी निजाम बेहतर बनाने में इन मुमालिक को लाजमी काम करना चाहिए और माली तावन करना चाहिए क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं ये जिम्मेदारी है तरक्की पजीर मुमालिक में मोहल्लियाती आलूदगी और इससे जुड़े मसाइल के